Hey everyone, it's Squiggly McPickens with Ants on a Melon. In this video, I'm going to go over how to maintain your bitwit fibers and general fiber care. For this tutorial, all you'll need is a pair of sharp quality scissors and a waste basket. Your bitwit fibers are N-Glow fiber optics. This means that the majority of the light is coming out of the cut tip portion of the fiber. Your bit whip is cut in layers to distribute the glowing tips throughout for maximum brightness. There is some light distributed along the length of the fiber, but most of it comes out of the end. As a result, you'll want to have a clean cut tip and allow as much uninterrupted light coming out as possible. During the lifetime of your bit whip accessory, there is a potential for fiber damage from impact. Your fibers are breakable and can sustain cracks from being hit off of hard surfaces. It's good practice to avoid hitting your fibers off hard surfaces as over time they will weaken and break off at stress points. This will cause your fiber ends to become jagged and this is the point where you want to go ahead and give them a trim up. Check on your tips about once a month more or less depending on the frequency of use. Maintaining your fiber tips properly will keep them shining bright and avoid sharp tips from ragged edges. In addition to damage from impact, your fibers can become brittle in extreme temperatures. Avoid exposing them to cold temperatures for long periods as you have a higher risk of breakage. It's generally best to avoid sub-zero temperatures. Extreme heat and sunlight can weaken them as well so be sure to avoid leaving them in the sun or in a hot car. Similarly, when washing, be sure to use room temperature water. For more on cleaning and lubrication, check out our video on the topic. I'll link it in the description. Finally, there is the issue of just overbending and stress on the fibers. If you ever come across a fiber that has been caught up in your bit whip and is heading in the wrong direction than the rest of them, take a moment and untangle it. Otherwise, you run the risk that you can bend it and either snap it or really damage it. Be sure to store your whip with the fibers all traveling in the same direction to ensure that you don't overbend any fibers. For more on storing, take a look at our video on it. I'll link it in the description as well. If your fibers are in need of a trim, let's go ahead and go over how to do that. Before you start, comb out your whip separating fibers from tail to handle. Take a manageable amount of fibers, hold them out, and cut the ends straight across. It's often easiest to tuck the cut fibers under your leg while seated so you don't go for them again. With your bit whip on, check for any overbent fibers. If you find one, cut it off just before, as the light is no longer making it to the tip, but rather is being diffused at the bend. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you enjoyed it, hit like, subscribe for more tutorials, and stay up to date. Thanks so much for watching.